Hello everyone, I am making another video. It's been a while, I've been absolutely overwhelmed with work and university. I mean, final year, bit of struggle. I mean, life is struggle, work, uni, making some videos, you know, something needs to be held back. And in this case, it's videos, unfortunately. But, I mean, I want to make video about this event in Saudi Arabia, which is absolutely amazing. I do not remember last time when we had undercard stacked so well, so let's dive all into it. So yeah peeps, Christmas came early. So yeah guys, Christmas came early. What do we have amazing undercard? And main event, Otto Wall and AJ, amazing fight. Uh, Wilder vs Parker, this demands video on its own. Um, Daniel Dubois versus Miller, Pharmacy Miller, yeah, we know, again, good fight, I'm gonna be talking about a little bit more, Mahmoudou versus Kabil, two undefeated fighters going, uh, we have Philip Hogovitz against Mark Demori, uh, Mark Demori, remember whatever uh, happened, he was fighting David Hay, absolute disgrace, uh, yeah, but let's jump onto it, Triple D, what future does he have? For me, it just kind of seems with the latest things, what's happening with him in the boxing and people labeling him a quitter, he's pretty much a David Price 2.0 in a loading. And he's facing against Big Pharmacy Miller. And the funny thing for this event, all the fighters from UK have been heavily favored, like 3 to 1 that Miller gonna lose guys 3 to 1 I mean I'm not placing any money now maybe I'm not promoting any gambling nothing like that but you know if you need to place a bet or anything this is the returns you want to look for yeah 3 to 1 minimum and my whole question is Miller looked poor, he looked very poor in the last fight, he took lots of punishment from uh, Lucas Brown, but then, then again he proven that he can take shots, he doesn't really care, he can stop shots with his face, he's okay with that, Daniel Dubois on the other hand cannot do that, and he can give good shot, you know, you learn something, he still has quick hands, even though he does not look like Miller in this picture, trust me it is hard to find a picture, he looks horrendous, he looks literally like tomato cannon two legs. Like, you know, without his pharmacy supplies, he does not look good. But I, I fully agree that Daniel Dubois is better in every single way except the chin and heart. And I think this could be a big upset. I really guys believe that. And that would bring us to the next fight. Same odds. Are you surprised? AJ vs Otto Wallen, pretty much the same odds as before, as Dubois vs Pharmacy Miller. I don't know, something feels weird, <laughs> okay, but then again, how can you put Otto Wallen so far behind, it's like, AJ just gonna go there and gonna knock Otto Wallen in round one, I mean, Otto Wallen has done quite good lately, okay, I would, as I said before, for me, he seems like better version of Kubra Puvelev. The only downside on Otto Wallen is he doesn't have that banging power. I don't know how, because when you see him in the shots, he really he really puts in there, you know, he really steps behind the shots. It's just, he's not delivering that, you know, knockout power. He has IQ, speed, chin, uh, movement. He moves quite well. He can switch between off offense and defense. Just, he's not really scoring those shots. So to say that he's 3 to 1 underdog in this fight, I think he could easily outbox AJ. They are similar height, one is 6'5, one is 6'6. Six, six. Uh, and I think Otto Wallen has much better chance of winning regarding that he is in his the prime. Otto Wallen is in the prime and he has pretty much nothing to lose. AJ, you could say he's with one foot through the door, but I would like to say he's with both feet through the door and outside like yeah because yeah we could say Otto Wallen does not possess the punching power but neither did Alexander Yusik and Alexander Yusik was a way smaller guy so outboxing wise 
I actually think that Otto Wallen gonna give AJ a run for his money. And I don't really understand why these odds are so heavily favoring British boxers. Even on BoxRec, if you guys gonna go check it out, somehow uh, Daniel Dubois loses the fight and then he's in a BoxRec. He goes up in rankings. He goes up to top 10. What? You know, this only happens. This type of stuff only happens when there is some kind of agenda behind him and someone is pushing it because no one these days is doing anything for free. I mean, this event, you saw the undercard. You know, Wilder is not going there for, you know, for change. Same time with Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker probably going to be asking, you know, not nice I would say around a million. Again, don't take my word for it. But he, again, he's not going there for pocket change. You know, that's another fight for different uh, different video. But yeah, so I, I think this fight event is been heavily subsidized by Saudi government to make it as a big attraction to pull in people for the New Year's, to pull in people for the Christmas and to spend time in there. Anyway, yeah, about the odds, I think it's, it's something weird here. Something is fishy. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not supporting gambling and I'm not saying for you, you should do gambling. But me personally, I'm maybe looking to put down a small amount of underdogs in this fight because I think they could pull it off. But yeah, I think this is a great event and great card. It just seems a bit, bit weird. I don't know in my books, it just seems a bit tough. So anyway, guys, leave your thoughts below. You think these bookie odds are fair assessment of the current boxing skills of the fighters or is it bit off because in my eyes I would say it's bit off I would rate Otto Wallen way higher than that anyway guys have a great one and Mr. Zas out